Well, we haven't seen anything from the court, and we uh, were not expected, frankly, to uh, to see anything until after the court uh, delivered its its ruling. Uh, I heard, of course, about uh, rumors uh, that some parties, especially in Israel, uh, got a copy of that. If true, it, it would be very unfortunate, and clearly it would have been obtained through illegal methods. But for us, uh, nothing would reflect the, the, the position of the court until we hear from the court itself. What have your own sources said about uh, whether you've won this case or not? Well, we don't have our own cases. I mean, we, we heard all kinds of, of rumors, but again, uh, this advisory opinion uh, is supposed to, to remain confidential, and we are dealing with it accordingly. If you do win, what message will this send out to the government of Israel? If the advisory opinion would uh, come as expected, reflective of international law, uh, would come uh, that clear and that positive and comprehensive, I think uh, it would be a very powerful message to our people, to the Israeli people, to the region, that international law counts, that people have to play by the law. And I think if we go down this path, this would allow us then to start anew and hopefully to achieve peaceful settlement and to achieve coexistence. And The way to help the people of the region, the way to help Israelis and Palestinians is to stop violence and stop terror and return us to negotiation. That's what we need from the international community. Israel only has a security fence to keep terrorists out. If there was no terror, there would be no need for a fence. That's really the way to create no fences and no barriers for Israelis and for Palestinians. This here is, 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 is if you're going to use a citation, it's, it's Israeli spokesman. That's fine. That's fine.